Victoria Gold is the latest gold producer in the Yukon with high margins. Victoria Gold is listed on the TSX under the symbol VGCX. The company has 61.4 million shares outstanding, plus 3.7 million warrants and options. The market cap today is around $1.2 billion fully diluted. Largest shareholders are Orion Mine Finance with 42%, Sun Valley with 10%, and Fidelity with 3.2%, and important, the management with 2.6%. In addition, come over 10 institutions like Sprott, holding altogether around 8%. Victoria is a great success story and is the latest successful gold producer in the Yukon. They achieved already commercial production and the average annual production from 2021 onwards is scheduled to at plus 210,000 ounces per year with AIC cost well below 800 US dollar per ounce gold life of mine. The open pit has a fantastic one-to-one -one strip ratio and the heat bleach recovery rate is at 76%. First Nation agreement is in place and with the gold price at an all-time high in Canadian dollars and having 70% of the cost in Canadian dollars, is this mine a real cash machine from 2021 onwards. The reserve block model so far complies well with the production data. The recovery has been also in good correlation with the model, but we think they will improve this when at full capacity. Victoria has also a lot potential to increase production further, with year-round stacking and deep drilling has shown mineralization extends to plus 650 meters depths. The priority exploration targets are Nugget, Raven and Lynx, seeing a $6 million program in 2020 underway with 14,000 meters of length. Latest results show that Victoria Gold doubled the strike lengths at the Raven target on the Dublin Gulch property. To date, this year's exploration program has focused on step-out diamond drilling and surface trenches at the high-grade near-surface gold showings at Raven, Victoria's newest gold discovery located along the Potato Hills trend. Gold assay results from 1,094 samples have been received, including complete results for the first five step-out drill holes. High-grade gold intersections have been identified in every one of these holes, like plus 34 grams gold and 29.8 grams gold per ton, each over 60 centimeters, and many more great results. Of course, through those gold prices, Victoria Gold looks like an attractive takeover target, but we think at much higher prices. Victoria Gold is well financed with a senior credit facility of 100 million US dollars from SOSGEN, Macquarie, and Cat Finance at LIBOR plus 5%. They paid in 15 quarterly installments back until 30th November 2023, and there is no penalty for early payback. In addition, comes a subordinated credit facility with 75 million US dollars from Orion at LIBOR plus 6.7% with quarterly payback, and the principal repaid with a bullet payment on 31st May 2024. Also, no penalty for early repayment. Finally, the Caterpillar lease facility of 50 million US dollars, which has a LIBOR plus 4.25% and is repaid over four years starting already in November 2018. As the cash flow is now growing with the production, we do not see any risks for the debt situation of the company and we are pretty sure that there will be early repayments. Victoria still has to cover and reduce risks, so they have a 100,000 ounce zero cost collar gold hedge in place with 40,000 ounces this year and 60,000 ounces in 2021. Afterwards, the company is unhedged and we imagine then possible dividend payments. Five analysts cover the company and all price targets are reached now. Victoria is poised for a higher rating when they achieve their annual production target of well over 200 to 110,000 ounces of gold next year, their great low AIC, the secure jurisdiction, the district exploration potential, which should lead midterm to a longer mine life and a higher annual production. I'm your host, Jochen Steiger, Swiss Resource Capital in partnership with Tukas TV. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from Geneva. <music>